Today we're going to be looking at sequences of transformations. An essential question would be when would sequences of transformations be useful in the real world? So we're going to go over sequences first and sequences are different from combinations because you're already given all the pictures and then what you're supposed to do is tell me what happened between all those. So um, the easiest thing to do is to write down all the points first. So we're going to do that first. Okay, after you've gotten all of your points written down, then you're going to write in coordinate notation what happened between each set of points. So from the original points to our prime, our first prime, what happened? Well, to get from four to negative nine, you would subtract 13. So let's see if that keeps happening. To get from two to 11, you subtract 13. And to get from five to negative eight, you subtract 13. So we started with x, y, but then for our blue, we subtracted 13 from our x. Now look, let's look at our y's. To get from 8 to 4, you subtract 4. To get from 6 to 2, you subtract 4. And to get from 5 to 1, you subtract 4. So that means from y, you subtract all the 4's. And that's how we got this set of points. Now we need to look at our green set. So how does our blue set go to our green set? Um, so negative nine, negative nine, negative 11, negative 11, negative eight, negative eight. Our X has stayed the same. So we're just gonna write X. Our Y's are four, negative four, two to negative two, and one to negative one. Since the numbers are the same and only the signs change, then you put right y but negative y because that just means that you're changing all the signs of your y's. Now, to get from negative 9 to 4, negative 11 to 2, and negative 8 to 1, that really doesn't look like it has anything to do with each other. But this is 4, 2, 1. And if you look at the y's, these are also 4, 2, and 1. But they changed the signs. They were negative, and now they're positive. And they're in the x place. So y's are now in the x place. And we change the signs from negatives to positives. And then if you look at nine, negative 9, negative 11, and negative 8, those were our original x's. So we just flip-flopped our x's. The signs stayed the same. So it's just x. And then lastly, we need to see how we got to purple. So 4 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1, and 1 goes to a half. Well, you just split everything by a half. So it's 1 half 
x. And then for my y's, negative 9 goes to negative 4 and a half, negative 11 goes to negative 5 and a half, and negative 8 goes to negative 4. Again, they were just split in half. So this is what your test would be like. You would be given a set of transformations. Your first step would be to write down all of the points that you saw plotted, and then it would be to write the coordinate notation of those points, and this would be your actual answer that you would give me. Don't forget to write your summary, and we are done with this set of notes.